Hello peeps and welcome back to Material Energy Cubed episode 16. Uh, before I get things going, I have a special shout out to give. Um, a long story short, basically at the moment I, I work for a kind of a glorified temp agency. And due to the fact that I had been, that I missed a few days of work because I was moving. And then on top of it I got bronchitis and I didn't want to make everyone at the office sick. Um, my contract has been cancelled, so at the moment I'm kind of on furlough, which means I have <laughs> no paycheck coming in, and I'm waiting to, uh, waiting to see if I either A, get a new assignment, or B, get the permanent position I've been after for the last six months, which is supposedly, out, supposedly going to happen this week. But that left us kind of wondering, you know, what are we going to do for the next couple of weeks? Well, my phone buzzed today and said, You have received a donation to your PayPal. Dragon8186 from the Minecraft server donated an obscenely a large amount of money towards keeping me, uh, keeping me financially afloat, getting my internet back, and just basically, you know, taking care of everything for me. So thank you, dude. You're a lifesaver. Because we were just starting to wonder what we were going to do uh, to get through if I didn't get a new position immediately. So that helps take my mind off things a lot. Um, it's the biggest donation my channel has ever received. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So this episode's kind of dedicated to you. Um, I wish I'd have asked you earlier what you wanted to see. Of course, without having known what happened in the first 15 episodes, it'd be kind of difficult for... Oh, never mind. <clears throat> Let's just get on with it. So, I found a couple more secrets while I was putzing around with the bees. I was out here putzing around with these buzzing motherfuckers. And I was trying to look in one of these chests here and I spotted, where is it? Right there. There's a carpenter safe back there with a bunch of dye princesses and lime drones in here. So these are color bees. They're all pristine. So that's interesting. I'm just going to leave them there for now. And then, as I was putzing around over here, I noticed, where is it? Right there. There's a zombie trophy right there. <clears throat> so now I have another trophy to add to the victory monument. Which means we're missing the zombie pigman... The Enderman, the Witch, the Mushroom, the Squid, and I th can't tell what that is. I think it's just a... I think it's a spider. But right, let's go put this guy over on the Victory Monument. Um, off camera, I did a rather absurd amount of mining. I also came back and cleaned out the uh, Fantasy Metals IO port, got the Adamantine and the Altrite out of there, and then I also remembered that I have over here this Parcel 31U drive that I don't think I ever checked. So let's flip this on to give this some power, toss this in, load that, and oh, it's a mini-me. No thanks, you can stay in there. Okay. In other news, I also remembered that these ender cores actually work better than endstone for growing ender lilies. So, I've been kind of growing some ender lilies. <clears throat> hmm. Figure I may as well multitask where I can. Also, also, I was playing around with this transfer node. And it was going ridiculously slow. It was giving me like a bucket a second. And at that rate, it was going to take me days of just leaving this thing idling to get this quest done. The Oceans of Water quest. And then I took a look up here and I was like, okay, well, it gives you the, it wants the transfer node. The transfer node's obvious. Um, the stacks upgrade 
Water doesn't stack. So why would we need a stacks upgrade? The speed upgrade, that just upgrades the speed at which it... Oh, hello. Uh, sorry, if you guys can hear that, the washing machine's running and it's just getting the spin cycle. I hope that's not too loud. Um, but the speed upgrade just increases the time it takes to find homes on the network. No, what actually increases the speed is mining upgrades. So I took the mining upgrades out of the cobblestone generator, because right now I don't need it. I have this thing here so I can access it if I need to put it back. That's really loud. Um, and I put them in here. And I'm 48% done. Look at how fast this is moving. Yes, I'm getting about 100 buckets a second now. Just so happens, there's about 100 mining upgrades in here. So, the number of mining upgrades is the number of buckets a second you're getting, pretty much. So, I should be done with that a lot faster now. And, let's see, what else? And I also went into the deep dark, and I did a rather ridiculous amount of mining. Um, it's actually not too bad if you turn your sound down most of the way, so you can't hear the gas so bad. But in this brass chest, I have stacks upon stacks upon stacks upon stacks of just shit that I picked up. 43 diamonds. There were an extra two stacks of lapis in here, but I used them to make mining upgrades. Uh, magnesium and bitumen and sulfur and saltpeter and phosphorus, and I even found a little bit of platinum and mithril. And, oh, I found all sorts of good stuff. So, yeah. Bonus. Um, <clears throat> what else have I done? Um, not a whole lot, really. I did extend the platform out here a little bit, just to offer myself a little more safety when I'm chopping down trees, so I don't fall to my death again. And I think that's about all I've done. Uh, let's go check on the bees to get this episode started. <clears> hmm. <throat> See if these ignobles have died off yet. Oh, the energy cell's dead. No, the ignobles are still going strong. These friggin' pink bees are just going wild. Uh, I need to do something with this heated redstone. <clears> hmm. <throat> I think I'm going to make a magma crucible and a fluid transposer. If not this episode, definitely next. But I kind of want to go check out something first. There's actually a couple of things I want to check out. The first is in Hell and Nightmares. I have Nightmare here unlocked. It says I should fully enchant my armor and weapons and make potions or drugs before I go in search of the fusion blueprint design. That does not sound like a good... Uh, that does not sound like fun to me. So we're not going to go after that for the moment. Center of the world, however, I kind of want to check out. However, it's a thousand blocks away. And I don't have any sucrose at the moment. I do have some sugar, though. Because having speed is definitely going to help. Uh, for the moment, I'm just going to Set this to enabled high. We'll decompose the sugar, get the sucrose, and re enable it. Okay, what? There we go. Um, let's sleep through the night. The idea of running through the dark does not appeal to me. Now, this is a long run. I don't really want you guys to have to sit through it. So, I am probably going to cut the video here, and I will be back once I've reached my destination. Okay, I'm just closing in on it now. <clears throat> this is a pretty long run. Be glad I didn't make you guys sit through it. 
Well, it's a bedrock area. Is there something on top of it? I've noticed he likes to put things on top of things, so... No? There is a safe here. What the shit? Corrupted. Okay. Um... A bag and a light speed potion. When applied, 400 plus 400 percent speed. Well, let's see how fast this makes us run. Holy crap! <laughs> okay, we should I have one of these on the way out? Oh, it wore off. Okay, for the sake of the video. I covered almost 400 meters there. For the sake of the video, I'm going to allow myself a teleport. Because cheats are enabled, I'm going to allow myself a teleport to the mushroom waypoint. Because that'll bring me back home. Normally I would just run back out, but I'm, I don't want to cut the video again. I don't want to miss, make you guys sit through me walking for five minutes. So, And Patchy is at it again. Alright, the other thing that I want to check, because as I said, I've noticed that the creator of this mod pack loves to put things on top of things. I want to see, let's put this in here. We'll put that in there, and let's see what that unlocked, actually. Uh, what did that unlock? Old memories. This disc is for the old decommissioned spatial area. It was terribly inefficient, and all the discs were destroyed, or so I thought. I wonder why this was locked away. The amount of energy needed for spatial to material transfer is exorbitant. I'll need just over 100 energy cells to store the amount of power needed. It wants me to get 101 energy cells? Holy fuck! Nether star generators. Holy shit! And a bullion. Wow. Um. So yeah, that might be worth trying. I have sixteen. I wonder if it had to be empty. <clears throat> hmm. Because it was the purple one in the book. I wonder if it's going to be that specific. Oh, well, it's neither here nor there. Neither here nor there. I want to check on top of this spatial storage area. This one right here. And I want to see if there's something hidden up there. Because he loves to put things on top of things. Ha <laughs> What's in here? Zombie Pigman Trophy. Where did I get the carpenter safe from? Oh, because I dug out the marble brick over there. Okay. I wonder if there's one on top of there. God, that thing is crazy huge. Oh, mobs can spawn here. That's not good. But yet they can't spawn here. There has to be a magnum torch buried somewhere around here. Well, <clears throat> it's neither here nor there. Let's get on top of this thing and see if there's another one here. Yep. Could you guys make any more noise if you tried? 
I'm sure they could. There's a storage drive in here. R83. I wonder what R83 stands for. Maybe it doesn't stand for anything. Maybe it's a red herring. Maybe it's just meant to make you think about what it stands for. Guess we'll go ahead and repair this. Actually, is there anything else up here? No, I've already checked there. I've actually already been up here, too. I'm surprised I didn't see that before. Patchy, stop! <laughs> Patchy, stop it! Okay. Let's flip the override. Put this disc in and activate it. It's not working. <laughs> I wonder if this has to be used in the other thing. Because this, there's no way this is 128 by 128. This is like 64 by 64. So if that thing is particularly big, it might have to go in the other one. But if that's the case, that's the one that takes the ungodly amount of power to run it. So I need storage cells. And one energy cell is four flux crystals, glass, and four iron. The glass is no problem, the flux crystals are because of the nether quartz. <clears throat> Although I could have sworn I found a crap load of like, energy cells out here before. What did I do with them? Did I just leave them out here? Yeah, I just left him out here. So I'm sure this is what it wants me to do. How many do I have? 67. Not enough. Okay. Well, for the moment, let's go ahead and plug in the ME controller. Plug in the spatial I.O. port. I think this is going to work. I've never actually done this before. I think that works. I've never built one of these from scratch, so <clears throat> I guess we'll find out. And these energy cells, I'm just going to kind of keep on me. Until I finish this quest. Because I'm either going to have to make a crap load of these things, or something. What's the reward for this? Potions generator, solar generator, nether star generator, dark cable, cover cable, and a strong box. I wonder what's in the strong box. <clears throat> hmm. Regardless, I don't have anywhere near enough nether quartz to do this. Is there a recipe to make nether quartz? Can I synthesize it? Yes, I can synthesize it with silicon dioxide and gallium arsenide. Which takes gallium and arsenic. Element 62 and element 66. What are those? Element 62 is samarium. There's no easy way to get that. Element 66 is Diceprosium, and there's no easy way to get that. So there's no easy way to do that. Hmm. 
Is there any other way to do it? Block of Quartz. Pulverizing Nether Quartz gives you two. Chisel Quartz blocks give you four. Quartz stairs give you six. Mellow combs from the monastic bees give you some. Or from the secluded. What does it take to get a secluded? Monastic and austere. Monastic is the one you have to trade for villagers for. So that sucks. Alright, for right now, I'm just going to put these energy cells in here. And we're going to move on. Um, what else can I do? I want to do some more with the bees, but I think I'm going to save that for next episode because I've been putting off the Mesa Cavern for too long. So we're going to load the Mesa Cavern. We're going to see what that has in store for us. Put this away. We don't need the sucrose. I do want a lot of torches. I don't need the builders one of the inverse sickle. Um, have enough food, I think. I do want my retinol. I'm going to take a few extra potatoes. I definitely want the aspirin. <clears throat> and that's a dirt creeper. That's amazing. And a spider. Oh, we're getting off to a wonderful start, aren't we? Piss off, creeper. Oh, there are just spiders all over the damn place. Alright, well, I have played this mod pack enough to know that my eventual goal is going to be down near the bedrock level. And if it's anything like the other hidden ME sections... Those were all towards the northeast part of the cell. So I'm going to try and be a cheeky bastard, and I'm going to try and dig straight down here. We're going to see if we can game the system. If nothing else, that should get us a lot closer to our goal. Okay, so maybe not going to work this time. We're going to we're just going to persevere. Level 5 seems like a good place to come out. Maybe too far down. Well, I hear a ton of spiders, so I know I'm on the right track. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. You guys do not like me. You know what? If I don't ha if I have that open, there's going to be a creeper that's going to sneak down there and blow up, and wreck my shit. Oh, there's a spawner there. That's amazing. Choose the aspirin. Use the retinol. That's pink.
I should come and mine all this crap up and use it in the pink generator. Okay. I've controlled most of the spider outbreak. That's a creeper. That's a dead creeper. That's a skeleton. I don't think so, sir. Gotcha. What a pain in my ass. Ha! Got your spawner. Four clay, a reward bag, and some stacks. And then what was in this one up here? <laughs> a good reward bag and four clay. What's up with the clay? I know I have a quest to gather a hundred clay, but is it going to give it to me four at a time? Am I seriously going to have to go through and find that many frickin' chests? Patchy, are you seriously going to yowl the entire time I'm recording? Zincor. Rather significant amount of it. You son of a bitch! No! Fuck! Oh, hi. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Okay, those are legit creepers. Those are legit creepers. Those ain't no dirt creepers. Um... Um... Let's see... You know what? I have a full set of diamond armor. I may as well use it. I just lost 30 fucking levels, didn't I? God damn it. I don't have the diamond helm. Um... I have an ore halicum helm. That'll work. <clears throat> it shouldn't be terribly difficult to get back to my stuff. I just have to come over here and dig down. I love how I'm picking up so many different colors of clay just digging straight fucking down. That would be a zombie. Alright. This is where I came out at. And this is where I got knocked down by the damn spiders. And that's a zombie, and that's a dirt creeper. And I have no retinol. So I can't see my shit. Where was my death anyway? Oh, my death was right down here. Oh shit. I probably should not have done that. Fuck me. That was fast. Cheating bastard. Stuff recovered. Did 
Temporary retreat. I'm not even going to think about the fact that some of my stuff probably just got nuked. My good poly tools there. My retinol. My aspirin. Astral silver. That zombie is destroying my torches. What a dick. Bunch of astral silver here. And I can't pick up any of it. How about no? Okay, let's... Drop all of the stained clay. We don't need any of it, really. We may eventually need some of it to get back up, but for right now it's the least of my concerns. Okay. That's an exit. That's a bunch of spiders. That's a creeper. That's Victory Monument Wool. That's an Ender Creeper. That's a Flying Creeper! What the shit? Jumping Creeper! Okay, no more creepers. Fuck you, creepers. Whoa, what's that? The shit. Ow. Well, we found our AE observatory. There was a chest. Oh, shit. That scared the hell out of me. Victory Monument Wool. You know what, there was stuff over here. I want to know what's over here. Squid, Beavy, and the Bishop. What? Name Spider? No good. It spawned a bunch of baby spiders. And there's a... Creeper! And a zombie. And a bunch more astral silver. So this seems like the place to come if you need astral silver. My curiosity is going to kill me. I need to do what I'm doing and get out. Okay, what is all this crap? What are you? Okay. Wireless access points. I think I found the wireless transmitters I need. Sixteen of them there. Let's dig a hole and get rid of some worthless stuff. I don't need fermented spider eyes. I don't need the lime stained clay. I don't need the dirt. The arrow, the gunpowder. I don't need any of this crap. Okay, that gives me plenty of room to carry crap. How many of these wireless transmitters did it want? I don't have my quest book. Blew up my quest book. Son of a bitch. Well, I'm just gonna have to grab a bunch of them then.
If it wants any more than four stacks, it can go fuck itself. Fuzzy storage buses, a power relay, an access terminal. My retinol wore off. Why did I pick that up? There's an ME system up there or something. I'm gonna go find it. And then we're gonna wrap up the episode. After I pick up all these cables. You can never have too many ME cables. Should have brought my crescent wrench. Okay, now I just need to gather a bunch of yellow stained clay in order to fuel my ascent. Worst case scenario, I probably need about a stack of this stuff if I'm going straight up. enough. Okay, position ourselves directly under here. Clay on the hotbar and nerd pole. And dig. I hear a skeleton up there. So we can't get knocked back down. More zinc. Oh, hello, spider. Hello, spiders. Oh, hello, spider. Maybe I don't want the zinc. Sure enough, there's an enemy system up here. And there's a lot of good stuff in that system there. And there's a bunch of power relays. There's a bunch of energy cells. Now, the downside to this is that I'm going to lose all of the power in these energy cells. Because I don't have my crescent wrench with me. I guess I could go get the crescent wrench. Come back down. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I might do that. Um, one last thing I want to check. I saw some clay here. Oh, there's so much clay out there. There's so much clay right here. We're gonna brave the spiders and go get some clay. So much clay with so many spiders. That's cute. Oh, yeah. This is where we complete our clay quest, I'm sure. Piss off. Okay, what do I have that I don't need? Um, sandstone. Why am I carrying so much fucking sandstone? What else don't I need? 
My ore halicum boots have served me well. I don't need the sugar. I don't need that spider all on my face. Getting right near the end of this episode, so I need to start getting ready to wrap things up. There's so much clay here. Um, what else don't I need? Um, I don't need the science stained clay. I don't need this spider. There's a chest up here. I'm sure it's going to have a lot of good stuff that I'm just not going to be able to leave behind. Nope, just stacks and clay. Good. I'm going to round out this stack. Now I'm going to figure out where the hell I came in from. Right here, I think. Leave me alone, you little bastard. Close enough. I don't give a shit anymore. Okay, here's the ME system. Here is the place where the dry or the things are. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go straight up from here. And then this way I'll be able to just come straight back down. But this is all just basically tunneling straight up. I doubt anything interesting is going to happen here. So I am going to call the episode here, especially since my retinol just wore off and I don't feel like using more retinol right now. So I'm going to call the episode here. This has been Night Dagger with episode 16 of Material Energy Cubed. I'm going to get upstairs... Uh, unload my inventory, and then I'm going to come back down and get those energy cells. And then I'll be back with the next episode. So I will catch you later, peeps.